Hi, this is Ed with TV Repair Kits, and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use a D soldering iron in order to remove solder from various circuits. So this is a typical D soldering iron that you can purchase at Radio Shack. Um, I highly recommend this particular type um, over the uh, other plunger types and things of that nature, especially if you've never used uh, a D soldering iron or even a soldering iron before. So there's also what we call um, a solder braid, which will also remove solder, but Again, I would highly recommend this. This is about ten, maybe twelve dollars. Very straightforward, very easy to use. So, the main thing that you want to remember about the desoldering iron is that when you press the bulb here, it creates a suction. You would then place it on the device that you want to desolder, and you release the bulb. And what it'll do is it will suck the solder up and into the little bulb itself. Um, that's very important because what you want to do is you want to use that suction to remove the solder off the board. However, when you have it over the board, you do not want to press the bulb. Just by pressing the bulb, the solder then splashes out of the soldering iron. So, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some here that I've splashed on the table, for instance. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this right quick. And uh, um, Okay, so we take our desoldering iron, we press our bulb away from our circuit board. We place it on the first pin that we want to desolder on our chip, rock it back and forth a little bit, release the bulb, and it will soak up the solder. Then you take the soldering iron, place it over a piece of tin foil or glass plate, press the bulb to squirt out the solder, hold the bulb in, place it over the second pin that you wish to desolder, and again release. And if it doesn't do it the first time, Try again the second time. And you'll want to continue to do that for all of the pins that you need to desolder on whichever chip that you're working on. One of the key points is if you actually go a little bit too fast, the soldering iron itself uh, will start to cool down. Um, uh, it's transferring too much heat, obviously, so it'll start to cool down and then uh, it'll be less effective. So uh, don't rush it. Take your time. Uh, let the soldering iron uh, heat up between pins and just continue down uh, desoldering each one. And again, the most important thing is don't push the bulb while it's facing the board um, because what will happen is it will spray the solder that you've sucked up into the bulb back onto the board itself.